Okay, find a formula for the nth term of the sequence. For this one, we want to, like with any other sequence, break it into parts. So first we notice that this is alternating. So we have positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. That tells us that we're going to need to have negative 1 raised to some power, uh, which causes that alternation. If we were to choose n, and since we know that uh, we start our sequences with n being 1, what would happen? We would get a negative, right? Because negative 1 to the power of 1 would give you negative 1. And we don't have actually a negative 1. We have a positive 1. So that just, that's very easy to fix. Just get n plus 1. Now we have 2 in here as our exponent. And negative 1 to the power of 2 is going to give us a positive. Okay, so this is going to cause an alternation, and then we fix it based on whatever our first term actually turns out to be. Um, okay, so we've got our first part, which is easy. Now we look at our numerator. What's happening in the numerator? Well, I think this is an easy pattern, right? We have n squared. We have 1, then 4, then 9, then 16, then 25. That should just be recognized. n squared. In our denominator, we have another pattern that they're throwing at us. This is n factorial. It's n factorial, which it's, it's a pattern that you should recognize, 2, 6, 24, 120. Uh, because, for example, 4 factorial, just a refresher, what that means is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. What 3 factorial means is 3 times 2 times 1. So clearly, these are... Uh, the values corresponding, because 3 times 2 times 1 gives you 6. 4 times 3 times 2 gives you 24. And 5 factorial would give you 120. So that is n factorial. This is the formula uh, for the sequence.